I go through a lot of vape carts and pods, as you can see here. In this video, I'll be showing you another method on how to salvage the extra oil out of your used vape carts, pods, and containers. The first step is to get some isopropyl alcohol and clean the outsides of each pod and cartridge to make sure there are no contaminants or bacteria. Here, I have my lovely assistant cleaning each of them and tossing them into a beaker. Be sure to remove any bits of silicone or plastic as they may be dissolved in alcohol in a later step. Once all the pods and containers are wiped off and cleaned, a high proof alcohol was poured into each container to sit for a bit. Then I poured some high proof alcohol into the beaker as well. It is important that you do not use isopropyl alcohol for this step. Isopropyl alcohol should never be used in any edible or vaped or any cannabis product. It is only used for cleaning. For each of the jars that really had some concentrate stuck to them, I give them each a quick scratching with a glass stir rod before pouring them into the beaker as well. I then use the rod to stir the beaker's contents. Then I placed it onto a hot plate at a low heat to help the alcohol dissolve all the THC that it can. After stirring and heating for about 10 minutes, I strained the liquid through a coffee filter. I then poured the solution into a larger flask to begin evaporating the alcohol. This took quite some time to accomplish. I could have collected the vapors, but my water pump was broken, so I had to let them just go into the fume hood. Be extremely careful whenever you are evaporating alcohol such as this, as the vapors are highly combustible and may explode if not properly ventilated. Please don't try to do anything with explosive vapors such as this unless you are aware of the dangers and have the appropriate safety gear. As the alcohol content lowers and the water content rises, you can see some THC starting to separate out of the solution entirely. It also started to get pretty cloudy. This is due to the high water content compared to alcohol content. I transferred to a beaker at this point as I wanted to ensure ease of collection once I started to boil down to a concentrate. I would have initially done this in the beaker, but the reason I used the flask in the first place is to try and capture the evaporating alcohol, however my pump wasn't working and I didn't realize that at the time. I took some extra alcohol and swished it around the flask to get out all of the concentrate. As I poured it back in, you can see that the white cloudiness disappears as the alcohol content rises compared to the water content. I proceeded to continue evaporating the solution in the beaker until there was about 20 milliliters or so left. I then poured what remained into a small glass jar and set up a little rig so that I could use a heat gun to remove the concentrate that was stuck to the beaker. I then poured some alcohol into the beaker and scratched it with a glass stir rod to ensure I collected everything in the glass jar. I placed the jar onto a hot plate and let it stir for a bit at low heat before letting it settle for a while so I could remove the water with a syringe. The water is cloudy because of the uzu effect. When the water to alcohol ratio is too high, certain oils are no longer soluble and they come out of the solution in the form of micro droplets that make the solution look cloudy like this. One of the most important steps when dealing with concentrates and solvents is to ensure you do a proper vacuum purge. Here I'm using a vacuum pump I made in a previous video along with some rubber adapters to use the jar itself as a vacuum chamber. This allows me to heat the concentrate more easily and also ensures a more effective vacuum as there is less total volume but using a regular vacuum chamber would also be fine. After that, I was left with a nice clear amber oil. I poured it out onto parchment paper and used a heat gun to get it all out of the jar. After letting it cool down, it had a nice consistency like shatter, as you can see here. All right, thanks for watching. Feel free to check out my other videos, and if you wanna help support the channel, you can check out Patreon or click the join button next to the subscribe button. And of course, if you're not subscribed, that's a great way to help the channel as well.